Hello everyone. My name is Madam Jayshree and in this lesson we will discuss task 1 and task 2 of the MUET writing paper. We'll look at some tips on how to write a good response for these tasks. Hopefully, at the end of this program, you will be able to learn how to fulfill a given task and put in the right organization and structure for the response. You are given 75 minutes for the MUET writing paper and you have two tasks to complete. Now, let's focus on task 1 for which you are advised to spend 25 minutes. It is also suggested that you write not less than 100 words. I guess this is not very difficult. We are here to help you. Now, we will learn how to write the expected answer for task 1 effectively. Let's look at different steps involved in answering the writing task 1 section. For task 1, you will be given either an email or a letter to which you have to write a response. The first step is to analyze the task. The second step is to plan your response and the third step is to present your answer. So, how do we do that? Well, you have to understand what the question wants. Read the question carefully and look at the notes given. The notes are to help you to plan your response. If the stimulus is in the form of an email, you have to respond in the form of an email. Similarly, if you get a letter Your response has to be a letter too. Even though you can add in your own ideas in the response, do not forget to make full use of the notes given. Now that you have seen the tips on how to respond to task 1 question effectively, let's look at a sample question. Sample question. Your friend Amy was absent from school for 2 weeks because she was not well read the letter from her asking about the language camp held in school when she was away using all the notes given write a reply of at least 100 words in an appropriate style just remember that you need to use all the notes You also have to write at least 100 words in your response. Well, look at the sample of response given. I am sure you can write something like this on your own within 25 minutes. Now, let's look at the next sample question. Unlike the first sample question just now, This one uses an email. Thus, your response has to be written as an email too. Remember to fill up the header of your reply carefully. Make sure the column for from and to are filled correctly. Yes, the column for subject can be the same as the email in the stimulus. Always be careful of these when responding to an email. The sender, the receiver, the subject of the email, the language used whether it's formal or informal. From the slides, you know that the sender is Raj and the receiver is Rashidi. Yes, you have to write 
an appropriate response based on the notes given with the email. Do not leave any of the notes out in your reply. This is to ensure that you do not lose any marks. Do not spend too long on task one because you need a longer time to complete task two. Try to make your responses interesting and authentic. Read the question given. Remember that you have to use the notes given in your reply and you have to write at least 100 words. You should include description about the jogathon, express sympathy to Mazlan, describe the prizes, tell Mazlan if you want anything, tell Mazlan the number of participants, tell Mazlan the categories, tell Mazlan if you're coming with him to SMK Jaya Jogathon. Okay, now that you have looked at a few sample essays, here is a question you can try on your own with your teachers in school. Just remember to time yourselves so that you will be accustomed to the time limit for task one. We hope now you are able to write a good 100 words response for task one. Now, let's continue to discuss task two of the MUET writing paper. We'll look at some tips on how to write a good essay for this task. We hope after this, you will be able to learn the correct format of writing an open-ended essay and learn the different parts of an open-ended essay. I hope everyone still remembers that you are given 75 minutes for the Muad writing paper with two tasks to complete. For task two, you are advised to spend 50 minutes and are suggested to write not less than 250 words. Yes, not less than 250 words within 50 minutes. Now, how do we do that? Well, don't worry. That is exactly what we are going to talk about today. I will explain to you the different steps involved in answering writing task 2. The first step is for you to plan your essay. You need to understand what the question wants in your response. Read the question carefully and decide which type of essay is the most suitable to answer the given question. For task 2, you are always asked to write an essay. This essay may be one of the three types, namely a discursive, an argumentative, or a problem-solution essay. The first essay type is discursive. This type of essay discusses a particular topic. The writer does not have to take a stand. How does a question which requires a discursive essay type answer look like? Here is an example. You attended a talk by a teacher which was recently held by your school's career club. The following comment was made by the teacher. Teaching is a very rewarding job. Write an essay expressing your opinion on the statement. Write at least 250 words. The key words in the question are teaching and rewarding job. 
you should start by giving an introduction. It does not have to be long. You might want to give a brief definition for each of the key words. It does not have to be a dictionary de definition. Teachers are very important figures in our lives. Teaching means making others learn about something, while rewarding job means a work which gives satisfaction to the person doing it. Remember that you have to give a thesis statement at the end of your introduction. This will help your readers to know what you will be discussing in your body paragraphs. Teaching is a rewarding job because it helps students to improve themselves. It is a noble profession, but it can be a very demanding job too. Now, we are done with the introduction. Let's move on to body paragraphs. Present your points as how they appear in your thesis statement. Teaching helps students to improve themselves. You can write your first body paragraph as given on the visual you are looking at now. I hope the paragraph has made your understanding on discursive essay better. Now, let us look at the second body paragraph. As seen on the visual, the topic sentence is Teaching is a rewarding job because it is considered as a noble profession. Look at how the topic sentence is developed in the visual. Now that we have looked at the first three paragraphs, let's move on to the fourth paragraph, which is also the third body paragraph. You have to remember that in a discursive essay, you will have to discuss both perspectives. Thus, in the third body paragraph, the writer writes on a point which is in contrast with the first two points. The topic sentence in this paragraph is, there are teachers who find that their work is very demanding. Have a look at how the other sentences in the paragraph help to develop the topic sentence. Lastly, we come to the final paragraph in the essay that is the concluding paragraph. In this essay, the writer simply reaffirms and summarizes his or her points. Remember, that your conclusion does not have to be too long. And do not put in any new idea in the conclusion. Let's now move to the next sample question. You attended a talk organized by a non-governmental organization on Earth Day. The following statement made by the speaker caught your attention. There are still many detrimental environmental issues for us to address. Write an essay on the environmental issues faced and the possible solutions. Write at least 250 words. First of all, look at the task. Is it similar to the two essays we discussed before? No, it is not. The first one is a discursive essay. The second one is an argumentative essay. What we have now is a problem-solution essay. That means our essay will focus on possible solutions for the problem given. Let us look 
at the question again. What is the problem presented? Yes, it is detrimental environmental issues. So, here we need to focus on possible solutions to overcome the problem. How do we go about writing it? Well, we can follow the guidelines here. Introduction, describing problem plus why it should be solved plus thesis statement. Point one, main point plus supporting points plus examples and then tie up. Point two, main point plus supporting details plus examples and tie up. Point three, main points plus supporting details, examples, tie up. Finally, conclusion, summarize the points given. A sample answer should look like this. The planet faces many troubling environmental issues that stem from human activity deforestation for agricultural purposes and urban development has destroyed forests and accelerated climate change. Mass consumption of natural resources has dwindled the Earth's resources faster than imagined. To improve the state of the environment, sustainable development, mindful consumption and stricter laws need to be implemented and carried out. Firstly, practicing sustainable development preserves our environment. Natural resources such as forests, minerals and water need to be utilized carefully to minimize negative impact. For instance, land clearing for housing development should be restricted and trees should be replanted to replace the lost in order to maintain the balance of the ecosystem and prevent landslides, flash floods and rising temperatures. As a result, sustainable development minimizes damage to Mother Nature. Secondly, lifestyles have to change to reduce excessive consumption. This includes cycling instead of driving, shopping wisely and avoiding single-use items. The more environmentally conscious a society is, the greater the impact. If more people recycle and reuse all items, fewer resources need to be consumed. Thus, being less wasteful helps to conserve resources and preserve the environment. Lastly, implementing and enforcing stricter laws will deter people from harming the environment through industrial waste. Heavier fines and jail sentences should be imposed on companies that contaminate rivers with chemicals to deter others from doing the same. Large corporations are afraid of heavy punishments as it causes financial loss and bad press. Therefore, implementing stricter laws is an effective measure to help the environment. In conclusion, environmental issues remain a pressing agenda for everyone globally. They have to be addressed before it is too late. Hence, measures such as sustainable development, mindful consumption and stricter law enforcement are needed to deal with these problems. Now, let's look at the next sample question. You recently read an article in a magazine about the environment. In the article, the following statement caught your attention. Mangrove forests are very important in our ecosystem. Write an essay expressing your opinion on the statement. Write at least 250 words. Now, 
How do we answer this question? Remember, we have 50 minutes to write not less than 250 words. First of all, we should understand the stimulus and analyse the question. Stimulus means the information given in the question. You must use it to make sure that your essay fulfills the requirements. Then, underline the keywords. What are the keywords here? Can you tell me? That's right. The keywords here are mangrove forest, important, and ecosystem. They are the important words that will help your essay to stay on the right track. Then, it is time to develop our points in the main body of the essay using T-E-E-E-L. What is T-E-E-E-L? T stands for topic sentence or main idea. For example, Mangrove forest is very efficient in maintaining water quality. E for elaboration of the main idea. For example, the mangrove intricate roots can help filter and trap sediments, heavy metals and other pollutants. Another E is for supporting. Examples, for instance, this ability helps to protect coral reefs and sea grass beds. E. Explanation of the example. Without mangrove forests, it will be difficult for the authorities to ensure cleanliness of water to be consumed by human beings. And L. Linking sentence to link the example to the main idea. Thus, this forest is important for our ecosystem. We will repeat the process for the next body paragraphs. You can look at the examples given in the visual for body paragraphs 2 and 3. Now, we'll need to decide on the type of essay to use. Is it discursive, argumentative or problem solution? Hmm, let's see. This essay should be an argumentative one as you need to take a stand. What is a stand? A stand is your own opinion regarding any issue. You may agree, disagree or choose a mixed stand. That is done. Now, we should develop the thesis statement. We can use the third sentence to construct the thesis statement for our essay because it includes three main points which will be discussed in the body paragraphs. Now, we can have an introductory paragraph like the one shown in the visual. When all that is done, we can summarize our main points and restate our opinion in the conclusion. Then, we edit and proofread our essay. When we proofread, we need to check for grammar and spelling mistakes. We also check if we have used the appropriate vocabulary. OK, now that you have looked at a few sample essays, here are a few questions you can try on your own with your teachers in school. Just remember to time yourselves so that you will be accustomed to the time limit for task 2. So, what have we learned today? Yes, we have learned how to write responses to answer task 1 of the Muet writing paper in specific, we learned how to fulfill a given task and put it in the right organization and structure for the response. And we also learned how to write an essay to answer 
task two of the Muet writing paper. We discussed the items that should be included in your essay, which are introduction, which includes your definition, your stand and thesis statement, point one, main point, supporting point, examples with tie-ups, point two, main point, supporting details, examples with tie-up, point three, main point with supporting details, examples and tie-up, and finally, conclusion, whereby you summarize the given points. Hopefully, after this, you are able to write a better essay and get good marks in your examinations. Till we meet again, all the best. Bye.